Hi, welcome to my channel Click View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View learner, and today I will share my learning about uh, one of the very simple Click View object, table box. So let's create a table box and see what it is. So we can right click on the blank space and go to new sheet object and have the table box here. Or we can go into design toolbar and click on here which is also a toolbox. So let's click it here for now, table box. All right, so this is a very simple, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we just need to give a title, uh, say for example, sample table box. And these are the available fields that you can show in this table box. So table box you can consider like a simple table, uh, a simple straight table in which uh, you can display uh, the fields in a detailed view like row by row, uh, like you you know do it in an Excel where you have the complete data set and each row indicates uh, you know an individual field, uh, an individual record for for the data set. So similarly, let's create a, a table here. So for example, uh, we want to create it for customer, say customer, customer address, customer number, customer type. So you can select all of these fields and all the other fields which is relevant for you. So we click on apply and OK. So you see that, let me just scroll towards the right. So you see that a simple table is created for us. Let me just resize a bit so you can view it properly. All right, I need a charger here. So give me a moment. So now we can continue. I have my charger plugged in. All right, so we were here at the sample table box. So I was just resizing a bit so that you can view it properly. Now we have uh, all the fields available here and uh, you can see you know, each and every row related to the fields we have selected. So we have customer address, customer number and you know customer type. So this is a very simple uh, table uh, like any other table you create in a Excel or in a Word document. Uh, but the special thing about this table is that you can select the values from here. So for example, uh, you have a customer type and you want to just have this G2 customer type. However, there are others customer type like G3. So for example, you want to just see the G3 customer type, you can click on this and you see that everything here is now changed for this customer type G3. Yeah, and you can clear this. So this is very simple, not uh, very much tricky like other objects we have in the click view. So let's see some of its property, uh, which again very similar to the properties that we have discussed so far in my earlier videos. So this is how the fields are displayed in the table box. You have first customer and then customer address. So if you want to move any of the field above or below to change how it displayed in the front end, uh, you can click on promote or demote. So these are the manual ways. So if you want customer type to be appeared first. So in this way, you can move the fields up and down. Also, you have some uh, predefined options like count order. So you want to order these fields numerically and click here, load order. So how ClickView is reading from the database or the backend data. So in the same way, if you want these fields to appear in the front end, you can click on load order. Also, you have text order. So fields should be 
ordered alphabetically you can click on text order so this is how it will be appearing here uh, apart from that so for example if you want to change uh, any of the label you can click on this field and change the labels a customer address and uh, it will be changed in the front end so currently it is appearing customer address one as soon as we click on apply it will change to customer address which is much more user friendly so this is how you can change rest of the others label if there is a requirement for you Another very special property uh, is the calculation condition which we usually overlook uh, when we create uh, these table boxes. So this is uh, very helpful in such a way where you want to limit the number of rows which are displayed in this table box, right? So for example, you know, you just want to show only those customer these are those are related to the current year so I believe the current year is 2012 in this case I'm um, sorry 2011 so you just want to show uh, all all of those customer when we select 2011 from this list box or uh, you know only for a particular month say June or July so you want to show only those customer which are appearing in June or July or any of the month which is of your interest. So let's go by the this example first where we just want to show uh, the customer that are related to 2011. So for that we need to go again to this properties. We'll right click on this and click on properties and uh, we have this calculation condition where we will say uh, we will right click on this button which have three lapses and uh, we will select the field from this field drop down and I think uh, the field is fiscal year fiscal year we will paste it field above here and is equal to 2011 hit OK apply and ok so currently you see that uh, it is not showing any of the value because we have not selected 2011 over here but as soon as we select 2011 you see that the data is populated so this is a really nice feature in such scenario where you want to restrict the values uh, by a particular dimension all right so let's move on and see some of more properties for this table box error message is something where you can customize the error message so currently it was showing calculation condition unfilled we can have uh, some other message so we highlight this calculation condition unfulfilled and say uh, this table box will show only 2011 values so we click on OK apply and OK so let's uh, select 2010 and see what it is now you see it is showing this error message this table box will only show 2011 values cool isn't it alright so let's hit it on 2011 again and uh, some more properties right click on this properties um, I believe rest of the properties are very simple to other uh, objects like you want to sort the values by expression or by text Z A to Z in alphabetical or in reverse alphabetical order you can do that and uh, presentation uh, how you want to present the values so customer number is something where numbers should be right aligned so that's why they are right aligned over here if you want them to center aligned you can click apply and you see that 
the changes happened over here all right uh, other property is the omit rows where field is null so it will omit all those rows in customer number where this customer number is null so you don't want to show the blank or null values you can click on this you have uh, a drop down select so you want to give an option of drop down select you can check this for this field so I'm checking for now checking this for now uh, multi line settings uh, you want so the f values that are present here are long enough and you want to have the multi lines you can wrap text so wrap text for header and wrap text for cell so you can play around it for your uh, table box but as it clear indicates uh, this is for header two lines three lines or one line whatever you want and this is for cell height so in cells you have a uh, you know a longer values then you can have these multiple lines for your text for your field so this is how uh, you can change the property for every field that is present over here and uh, let's move on with the next property style so style is uh, something how uh, the table box is styled over here so for example cell border transparency so you want it to complete transparent so let's see 100 percent then these borders will be gone so we click on apply and you see that now we do not have any borders so this is how uh, you can change the look and feel of the table so border is now again appearing because transparency is 0 percent and uh, you have a number property again so currently we do not have any such field where we can we need to change the format of the number but uh, you can certainly do it if you have any other field so you can click on this override document settings and change uh, the number like whether it's a mixed format integer format or you want to fix to a decimal value you want it by money so how you want it you can change it accordingly so you have date time you know so from these all of these options that are available here so I will uncheck this one now because this will have no effect on our customer names next is font a very simple so which what font you want and uh, what size you want you can change it accordingly so I'll just click on this font type the homer for now next is layout again uh, similar to any other object that you have seen in my videos so conditional show property you want to show it always or you want to show it conditionally uh, options you want to which option you want you don't want to move and resize you can uncheck that you don't want end user to copy or clone this object you can uncheck this but it, when they are when you have checked it it means they can copy or clone this object or they can move or size this similarly you have a uh, scroll buttons and set background uh, scroll backgrounds to change the background if scrolling is present or scroll button the color of the button so like here we have gray so same is mentioned over here you can change it from here the next step uh, is caption so you see that uh, caption is present sample text box uh, you can change the look and feel for background color text color in case inactive option is here if it is active what caption color and text color you want you can change it from here different special icons you want you have print send to Excel if you want if you want to send these values to Excel you can do that and you want to minimize you can minimize this by enabling this minimize option so that's pretty much all uh, you know important and regular use property I want to discuss here so let's meet in the next video with a new click view object